Today, I'm gonna to show you how to edit vertical video in DaVinci Resolve, and I'm showing you two different ways to do it, so make sure you stick around till the end. Let's take a look. All right, let's face it, vertical video is here and it's a thing and it's probably here to stay. I mean, you've got Instagram stories, you've got IGTV, Facebook stories, TikTok, even Patreon has their lens feature. Just vertical video is everywhere. And there are some people out there who are doing some killer things with vertical video. I mean, you got Jesse Driftwood, whose Instagram stories are just incredible. You've got Metal for Breakfast, who is just killing it on TikTok. It's just, it's a thing now. I mean, let's just, it's a, it's a thing. And then there's that other group of people that maybe they take something on their phone. They do a video on their phone. It's in vertical mode. And then they want to add it to a YouTube video or something like that. But then you get that nasty black space around the video and it's, it just doesn't look good. So today what I'm gonna do is show you how to set up a timeline in DaVinci Resolve to put out a vertical video for IGTV or Instagram stories or whatever you want. And I'm gonna show you how to add a blurred background to a 1080p video so that your vertical footage doesn't look as ugly. But first, let me give a quick shout out to Lincoln Riddle for inspiring this video and Chris Egon Cyril. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that right, but he kind of, gave me the inspiration for the footage that I shot vertically. So without any further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and start working with vertical video. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve. We're in the edit page, and I'm gonna show you how to create a vertical video, something that you would put on Instagram stories or IGTV, something like that. And it's actually really easy. First thing you wanna do is come up to file and hit new timeline. We're gonna go ahead and use custom settings. We're gonna go into format and we're gonna reverse the ratio. So instead of 1920 by 1080, we're gonna do 1080 by 1920. Go ahead and hit create. And then from there, you're just gonna edit as if you would any other video. Go ahead and put a quick sequence together and whatever you wanna do. And then you can go ahead and export that and upload it to Instagram or IGTV or whatever you want. All right, so that was pretty easy. You just flip flop the resolution on your timeline and you're good to go and you can create videos and upload them to Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or Patreon or whatever you want. But what if you're doing this on YouTube and you want that nice blurry background behind your vertical footage? Let's jump in now and see how we do that. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do is add a new timeline. So let's go over to file and hit new timeline. We're gonna go ahead and go over to our custom settings just to make sure that our resolution is correct. What I'm looking for is 1920 by 1080. That is good. Let's go ahead and hit create. And what I'm gonna do is drag these clips back into the timeline. I'm gonna delete the audio because I don't need it. I'm going to highlight all of these clips. I'm going to come over to my inspector and I'm going to increase the zoom until the entire frame is filled out. That looks good right there. Let's go ahead and move on to the color page. And once the color page is loaded up, what I'm going to do is highlight all of my clips. I'm going to right click. I'm going to add into a new group and we're just going to call this blur. Hit OK. Then I'm going to come over to this drop down box up in the top right. I'm going to make sure it's set to group post clip. And I'm going to come down into my curves. And what I'm going to do is just bring these highlights down just to bring the exposure down a little bit because that'll help the vertical part of our video stand out a lot more. I'm going to go ahead and hit Alt S to add a new node. We're going to come over to blur and sharpen. We're going to make sure that this drop down box is set to blur and we're gonna bring our radius all the way up. And now we've got a nice blurry image to use as our background. Let's go ahead and hit Control S to save and go back to the edit page. And once the edit page is loaded back up, the first thing I wanna do is add a new video track. So let's go ahead and right click over where it says video one and hit add track. And then we're gonna add our video clips, the same ones as before in the same order into our timeline on video two. And then we're gonna delete our audio. 
And you can see we've got our vertical video in the timeline, but we've also got these really just ugly black spaces on either side of the video. And we don't want that. We want it to be on top of our nice blurred background. So what we're gonna do is we are going to highlight all of the clips in video two. We're gonna come over to our inspector, go into the cropping menu, and we're gonna change crop left to one. And I'm not sure why it crops both sides, but it does and I like it. So now we've got our video sitting on top of our blurred background and all I have to do is add a little bit of music and I've got a sequence like this. Working with vertical video in DaVinci Resolve is super easy, even doing that whole blurred background effect. If you wanna learn another really cool, really easy effect that you can do, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you want to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.